Have you ever seen an antique cabinet, black and carved with all kinds of leaves? In our family and number 39's large room there is a cabinet like that. That object is a family heirloom, left to us by our great-grandfather. From face to toe, it was filled with artistic carvings. Roses, tulips and intricate branches, with deer heads emerging in the middle. In the middle of the cabinet was a figure with a funny-looking face, but in reality he was grimacing. The figure had legs like goat and number 39's, small horns on its forehead and a long beard. It takes artistic talent and a lot of effort to carve like that. What a masterpiece! The goatherd figure always looks down at the table under the mirror. On the table is a porcelain statue of a pretty shepherd girl. She wore gold-plated shoes and had a rose stuck on her dress. She also has a yellow hat and a sheep driving stick. In short, she is very beautiful. Near her was a chimney sweep, also made of porcelain, but black as coal. He is as clean as anyone else. The reason he works as a chimney sweep is because people molded him that way. If only they could mold him into a prince, it would be fine. He stood there with his small ladder, his cheeks as red as a girl and number 39, s cheeks. The defect was the person who made the statue, he should have stood right next to the shepherd girl, and because they lived so close to each other, they were engaged to each other. Both were young, both were made of the same porcelain, and both were fragile. Nearby there is a statue also made of porcelain, three times larger than the other two statues. It is a statue of an old goose who can shake his head and baselessly claims to be the grandfather of the little shepherd girl. He asserted that since she was her grandchild, she had to listen to him. The goat herder next to the cupboard nodded in agreement because he wanted to marry the shepherd girl. The old man told the girl, I think he is someone worthy of you. He is made of golden wood. His cabinet was full of silverware, not to mention the things stored in secret drawers. The girl sighed, I don and number 39, T want to go into that dark closet. It is said that he already has eleven porcelain wives in there. Then I will be the twelfth person? Tonight, when there is a cracking sound coming from the closet, the wedding will be held. If I say the wrong thing, I and number 39, am not human anymore. The old man finished speaking, nodded once and then fell asleep. The shepherd girl burst into tears, her eyes sadly looking at her beloved chimney sweep. She lamented, I earnestly beg you to take me and you to escape, we can and number 39, t stay here any more, brother. Whatever you want, I and number 39, LL do it. We and number 39, LL go together right away. I have a career, I will definitely be able to support you. She sighed again, I wish we could get under the table. We haven and number 39, T left this place yet and I don and number 39, T feel secure yet. He tried his best to comfort her, telling her to be careful when placing her feet on the rickety edge of the table. Thanks to his small ladder, the two of them were able to get down to the floor. But glancing at the antique cabinet, the two saw a strange phenomenon. All the deer carved on the cabinet raised their heads and stretched their necks, showing their horns. The goat herd got angry and shouted, telling the old man. They ran away, they ran away. The two panicked and quickly hid in a corner of the window. There were three or four decks of cards with not enough cards, and there was also a very simple puppet. Stage
There was a play going on and all the cherubs, cherubs, and cherubs were sitting in the front rows watching and fanning themselves with tulip petals. In the back row are J pieces displaying two upside-down heads, just like the pictures printed on the animals. The play depicts a couple who love each other but cannot marry. The shepherd girl saw the same situation as herself, could N and hash 39, T hold back her tears, had to scream, I can and number 39, T stand it, I have to leave this window. But when they both got down to the floor and looked up, they saw that the old monkey had woken up and was shaking half of his body. He could N and hash 39, T move his whole body because his legs were one block. The shepherd girl shouted, the old goose is coming. And in frustration, her legs buckled. The chimney sweep said, I just had an idea, honey. Come here, we in number 39. LL crawl up to the scented powder box in the corner over there. Lie down on the roses and rosemary. And if the old goose comes near, we in number 39. LL pick up the powder and throw it in his eyes. No way, I know the old goose and the powder box have been engaged to each other for a long time. There is a proverb that says, and quat, and quat, old love lasts forever, and quat, and quat, number. We only have one way left, which is to escape. Do you really have the courage to travel around the world with me? Have you thought carefully, do you know that the world is vast and if we leave, we will never return? I know very well. The chimney sweep looked at her thoughtfully and said, Of course I have to go out there through the chimney. As for you, are you brave enough to crawl through the fireplace and chimney? Once you get past that step, the following steps are just a game. We will rise so high that no one can touch us, and we will only crawl through a hole into the vast world. As he spoke, he pulled her towards the fireplace. It and number 39, S dark like this, but it and number 39, S okay. Having said that, the girl crawled into the mouth of the hole then into the chimney. Dark as night. We and number 39. They reached the chimney. Look up at the sky and see how beautiful the sparkling stars are. That and number 39. S right, a star was sparkling above their heads, seeming to show them the way from below to high in the sky. So the couple climbed and climbed higher and higher. He supported her, showing her the safest places to put her lovely porcelain feet. Finally, they reached the mouth of the chimney. When they got there, they were both exhausted and they sat down to rest. That and number 39, s nothing strange. Now above their heads is a vast sky full of stars. Below the consecutive roofs of the city, a vast scene opened before their eyes. The little shepherd girl did not expect the world to be so big. She put her head on the chimney sweep and number 39's shoulder and cried so bitterly that the gold on her belt melted into water. She said, it and number 39's too much, I can and number 39. T stand it anymore. The world is so big. God! If only we could be back on the little table under the mirror. Returning to that place, I feel secure and happy. I and number 39, they followed you out into the world, so if you really love me, you can follow me home. The chimney sweep tried to convince her. He mentioned the goat herder, but she apologized and kissed him so lovingly that in the end, he had to listen, even though climbing down was much more difficult than climbing up. So they followed the chimney down with difficulty. Finally, they returned to the fireplace. 
They stood behind the oven door, listening to see what was happening. In the house. Silent as a sheet. They opened the door. God. The old goose was lying in the middle of the house. Because he wanted to chase them, he fell from the table and now he was broken into three pieces and lying there, his head rolling into a corner. The goat herder on the cabinet was still standing in the same place, he was thinking, his expression pensive. The little shepherd girl exclaimed, How terrible! It and number 39! S because of us that my brother broke into three pieces. I can and number 39. T live anymore. Then she wriggled her hands. You can put him back together. Really, Don and number 39. T be afraid. Put some glue on his back and stick an iron hook in the back of his neck and your grandfather can scold us like normal. Really? They climbed up on the table again and stood in the same place. The pipe scraper was sarcastic, okay? So, we are back to the old place, what a success. I just wish my grandfather could be reattached. Does it cost a lot? They reattached the old monkey, gave him an iron hook on the back of his head, and looked as new as before. Only unfortunately he could no longer swing his head like before. The goat herder said to him, Since it was broken until now, you have looked arrogant and arrogant. What a number 39, s wrong with pretending to be president. But hey, will you let me marry the shepherd girl? The chimney sweep and the shepherd girl looked at the old goose with pleading expressions. They were very afraid that he would nod in agreement. But he could n and hash 39, t nod anymore. And there was no way he would say that he had a hook in his back. So the two porcelain lovers lived together. They were very grateful for the iron hook on the old goose and number 39's body and they loved each other dearly until the day they would break into many pieces. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.